crafty friends! It's Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to 2 O'Clock Tuesday, your yoga for crafters. Um, I'm a little later today, although it's still in the 2 o'clock hour, because I was super excited and right in the middle of making this card using the hand-delivered set. I'm going to give you a quick peek. Isn't that cute? We are going to make this card and some other fun ones, and I still have one more to design in class. Uh, Friday morning or next Wednesday night. So I'll post pictures of those later and you can sign up and join me. All right, so enough work. Let's push away from the desk, get up, do something. All right, and then we're gonna do a little spine care today, a little back care. So sit in your chair and sit very steady. Feel the floor beneath your feet, okay? And then um, also don't be sitting way back in the chair. I'm, I'm up, so the back is back here and I have space between me and the chair. All right, roll your shoulders a couple times. There's pretty much always this in your yoga for crafters. Even if you just do this, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, settle in, pull the belly in. Okay, we're gonna move the spine six ways. So first up, let's see, maybe I need to slide back. Okay, first up, hold on to the knees and you're gonna tuck the chin, tuck the back, pull the belly in and round. So if you do yoga, this is cat pose. A lot of times we do this on hands and knees. And then we're gonna inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down and back, lift the chin and sway the back. And this is cow pose. And we're gonna repeat that two more times, each one. So exhale and round. And inhale and arch. So you're just rocking on the pelvis one more time. Exhale and round, tuck that tailbone under, round the back. Inhale, lift. And you don't have to do this very vigorously, especially if you're taking care of your spine. Do it a little softer and then come to neutral. And that, you'll notice, uh, feels wonderful and you already have change happening. Okay, so next we're gonna go side to side. So move the spine uh, laterally. So take one arm up, good, extend and reach. Hand can be on your leg or you can start to hold onto the chair leg. And we're gonna lean to one side. Belly pulls in, maybe look up, maybe look forward, maybe look down. Good, and carefully come back up. Bring that hand all the way down and around. Let's try the other side. So bring the arm up straight, sit up tall, relax that shoulder down, belly is in, lean to the side, either hand on the leg or hand on the chair. Good, lean here, maybe look up, maybe look forward, maybe look down. Good, all right, and then bring it back up and that arm circles all the way around. Unless you have stuff in the way, then you make a little change. All right, let's go just once more to each side. All right, arm goes up, lean to the side. Oh, get that beautiful stretch. Look whichever direction feels right. Come on, back up, arm circles all the way out and around if you have the space. Other side, bring that arm up, lean to the side, really lean and stretch. Good, breathe here. Look whichever direction feels right. And then bring it all the way up and the arm goes out and around. I gotta look, make a little room there. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. Now we have to turn that spine gently. So shoulders down and back. We're gonna keep this super, super soft. Turn your head to one way. And then take your shoulder and let your hands just float along and let them rest. If your chair has a lower back, sometimes putting your, like if you're in a folding chair, Sometimes putting your hand on the back of that feels really good. We're gonna look over the shoulder, relax into the legs. Yep, so if you notice your legs were going out or going in, bring them back to your neutral. Good, one more breath here. And then carefully unwind. Good, let's go to the other side. So just the head to start, turn the head. Then turn the shoulder, let the hands gently come along. Good, looking over the back. Don't push a lot on this front leg, just keep things steady. So knees not in, knees not out, somewhere right in the middle. And then nice and easy, come on back. Good, let's roll the shoulders, and then we're gonna finish off with a neutral spine or flat back forward fold. So widen your legs, that'll give you more space. Yep, come up on the sits bones, so don't feel that you're tucking or tilting. Find that place in the middle, 
hands wide on the legs, chin tucks slightly, and we're going to lean forward. So some of us are going to stop here. We're going to brace on the legs, and we're going to be good. Some of us are going to come to elbows. Keep the spine long. If you can keep the spine long so there's no rounding, you can bring your hands to some yoga blocks or some books or some bins or fingertips to the floor. I'm going to stay up here on the elbows. That's my favorite spot for this one. We're going to extend from the tailbone, belly pulls in to the top of the head. Breathing here, and then gently ease your way up. Take those legs back in, one last shoulder roll. Give everything a little shake, see how it's feeling, and you are good to go. Thank you so much for joining me for a little bit of yoga today. Give me a like, give me a love, give me a comment, let me know that you're watching. Uh, check out my uh, page all week long. Um, the Facebook or Instagram, uh, YouTube, not all week long, um, but check it out. See what I'm working on and join me for a class. If you ever wanted to go class, let me that know that too. And I'll see you soon. Stay crafty.